Hello, my name is Tony Andrews. I'm the Product Manager for InfoAsset at Innovise. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure annotation and labels in InfoAsset Manager. So let's get started. In a previous video, I showed you how to create themes in InfoAsset Manager, and this is where we left off. Here you can see a theme that shows pipe material and pipe width together as a combined theme using what's called an SQL theme. What we're going to do is use this theme and build upon this theme to add labels and annotation. Now there are three types of labeling that you can perform in Info Asset Manager. These are called auto labels, custom labels and tooltips. So let's start with auto labels. On the geoplan you can see we've actually got an auto label already set for uh, node objects, in this case the ID of manholes. The auto labels are labels that can be easily switched on and off in a theme and appear for all objects uh, on the geoplan. So let me show you how to create an auto label. So right click on the geoplan and choose properties and themes. This brings up the Geoplan Properties and Themes. This should be familiar to you if you've seen a previous video about creating themes. In this dialog you can see there's a column labelled Auto Label. And this is where we can switch the Auto Label on and off for any type of object in Info Asset Manager. So you can see I've activated for nodes the Auto Label. If I deactivate and hit Apply, you can see in the background that the Auto Label's turned off. So let's switch that label back on again. So now I want to show you how to create an auto label, in this case um, for pipes. So if we click on the auto labels and tooltips tab and then click on the set button, we can use this dialog now to create and configure our labels for pipes. So choose the object type, in this case it's a pipe, and then we need to select the fields which we want to label. So in this case we're going to choose width, hit the insert field, and then in this dialog and with these labels we can enter some free text. So I'm going to separate width from the material using a hyphen. And let's go and choose the pipe material now. And insert. Click OK. And then go to the layers and themes and now this time switch on the auto label. You can see that the pipe size, the width and the material now is displayed against the pipe. So if we go back to the auto labels and tooltips, we can actually set the colour as thematic. So if we've got a theme already set for the pipe, you can see now the colour of the label has changed to the same colour as the, as the pipe according to the theme that we're using. And we can actually rotate the labels along the link. We can also set the font size. So we can make the fonts bigger if we want to. And there's ways to control how these labels are displayed according to the zoom factor and the scale that we're working at in the geoplan. Now labels are saved in the same way as themes. In fact, they're saved as part of the theme. And I'm going to save this as a new theme. So as before, we click on the save button and we're going to save to a database object. And we're going to save to my themes with labels and we'll call this width and material with labels and save and because it's been saved in the uh, tree view we can re reuse these uh, themes with labels so let's take a look at that I'm going to just activate the pipe material no auto labels for the pipes pipe width and material and this time we're going to show the width of material with the labels. So now we're going to move on to custom labels. Now with custom labels we don't need to save these labels to a theme in order to display them. We're going to use a tool on the toolbar. Um, it's this tool. I'm going to show you how to configure these uh, custom labels. So again right click on the geoplan and choose properties and themes. And you can see for each object layer we have the ability to adjust the custom label. It's this column on the right hand side here. So I'm going to click on the pipe, custom label and edit. And if we move to the content tab, here are all the attributes for a pipe that we're able to display in a custom label. 
and we simply just activate them by clicking in the field. We can also adjust the formatting of this text, so we can change the colour for example, so I'm going to give it a bright red colour. We can make it bold, we can italicise, and there's lots of different settings that we can use um, in order to be able to format how the labels will look with a custom label. So let's see what this looks like. Now to activate a label, go to the label tool on the toolbar and then click on a pipe. And here we can see the custom label appearing where we've got the ID of the pipe, the manhole references, the width and the material. And I can click and add these labels as I see fit. Now you can see I didn't click actually on a pipe here and I've got a free floating label. In order to delete a label, just select it and then right click and click delete. In order to remove these labels, go to the Geoplan menu and clear all custom labels. What we can also do is label selected pipes using whatever selection method. So I'm going to choose to do an upstream trace. So I've selected a run of pipes and then I can right click, go to selection, selection operations and custom label selected objects. And these labels can be moved using the labels tool. Now we can format these labels further by adding free text. To do that you need to right click properties and themes, edit the pipe custom label and in the contents tab choose free text and it's here where we can actually begin to type in some free text that will appear in the label. So let me do that for material. I can put type pipe material equals and then I can insert the actual pipe material. Hit OK and you can see now that the labels have changed with my user defined text. So just to remind you how to get rid of these custom labels you go to the Geoplan menu and choose clear all custom labels. Finally, I'd like to show you how to configure tooltips. Now tooltips are displayed whenever you hover over an object in the Geoplan and you get a little pop-up showing the selected attributes as labels or pictures and images. So let's go ahead and configure tooltips for a pipe. So right click in the Geoplan, properties and themes, choose auto labels and tooltips and you can see on the right hand side tooltips. So click on interactive tooltips and then choose the tooltips field. Select the object that you want to show tooltips against and again you can see the full list of attributes in this case for a pipe and I've already selected upstream node and downstream node, link suffix, width and pipe material. Click OK. And so now when I hover over a pipe object you can see that the tooltip appears with the attribute showing. We can also show images as tooltips. So right click, properties and themes, choose auto labels and tooltips again, and this time choose the image tooltip. And now whenever I hover over a pipe object that has attached photographs or location sketches, for example, we can display those in the tooltips. So in this case, here's a photograph of the location. And this is a location sketch. So just as a reminder, there are three types of labels, annotations in InfoAsset Manager. There are auto labels, custom labels, and tooltips. So that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.